Well, we've had our fun now, guys. It's, it's all over and done. The laughs on this YouTube channel are a thing of the past. Okay, so if you're here for another hopefully witty social commentary video from, well, you best leave now because you're going to be, this is a tearjerker, okay? This is a real, real tragic love story. So if you're ready for that, then by all means stick around. As I say, welcome back to another edition of What's Been Happening. Roll the titles. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for coming back. Here's, yeah, to you guys. That is... Ah, yep, that is... That's room temp flat cider, that is. <laughs> Showbiz! I remember this video years ago about this woman who said that she fucked a big ghost. <laughs> and I remember thinking, that is the, that is the perfect blend of news but trivial as fuck that this channel has come to know and love but I can't go back can I because it still has to be it has to be current it does have to be happening now my girlfriend was on her phone just scrolling and she just grabbed my arm she went you're never gonna fucking believe this and I went what she went she's fucking back I went who's back and she looked at me right in my pubes and she said the woman who shags ghosts <laughs> Now then, it's a supernatural story we followed for years on this morning after medium Amethyst Realm fell in love with her ghost fiancé, Ray. You dressed in a very sexy negligee yeah. and <laughs> you went into the spare bedroom and, uh, and uh, turned the lights off and waited. I waited and waited for a while and then I got a little bit worried. I thought maybe I'd scared it off by being too keen. Oh, oh okay. Then... Yeah, play hard to get. I think that's something we can say both for humans and ghosts. Treat them mean. Keep them keen. No one's going to respect you if you're just lying in bed, legs are kimbo, just going, come on, get in it. Geez it, then geez it. Come on, get your fucking ghost dick in this. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. So just as I'd given up hope from starting to fall asleep, it came to me. You <laughs> had sex? Wait. You, you, had, you had sex? Yeah, I had sex with the Sim ghost. With the ghost? Yeah. Yes. You, you, you had sex with the ghost? Yeah, we had sex, but you stop being such a fucking boomer all the time. You can shag ghosts now, Philip. That's a thing. Come on, get your, give it a dime, granddad. We were at Wiki Hole last weekend on a tour, and he asked me to hang back just from the rest of the tour group and then proposed to me. Well, in a shocking development, the uh, ethereal engagement is now off. Oh. And I'm a what?! Ah, oh, Philip, don't you fucking dick me about that, boy. Can no one be happy in this world anymore? This is where we meet her now. Years ago, she came on to say, hey, I had sex with a ghost. And then it was motherfucker proposed to me. And now, where we are, as of like, what, under a week ago, time of recording, she's calling the wedding off. Why? This is what I want to know why, because she seemed fucking into him. You met him in Australia, um, and uh, what did you know about him? What was his job before he died, and how did he die? I don't actually know how he died. What do you mean you don't know how he died? I'm not the only one that's taking that as a bit mad. Like, for example, if I was to, right, and it's a, it's a bit of a stretch, sure, but if I was to decide that, nah, my girlfriend's not cutting for me, I'm, and in fact, humans aren't even cutting for me, just the whole thing of the human consciousness thing, <laughs> fucking snooze fest, boring. I'm going to go into the ghost game. Get me on ghost Tinder. What would that be? Plenty of ghouls. I don't know. I would say it would be within the first the first date I would even ask. So how did you die? How do you go, Matt? How do you, you go? You've been with him for a long time. What the fuck? Oh, at no point it came up how he died. You're a ghost. That's like the most interesting thing about you, really. How would you die? Oh, you're talking out your arse head. It would definitely come up. But didn't he talk to you? No, we kind of communicated through energies mostly, through energy and emotion, through feelings. Just other made-up bullshit that I would pull out my arse if I was saying I was shagging a ghost in a bit. How would you talk to them? Ah, oh, just, you know, energies, feelings mainly, vibes. I'm a vibe guy. But it doesn't check out because she said the way he proposed to her was he told her to hang back and then that's when he fucking popped the cue. How are you doing that with an, an energy or a vibe? How are you going, oh, I, 
I'm getting the feeling that I should hang back now. Oh dear lord, I'm getting proposed to. Everybody gather round. Look, I'm I'm being proposed to. There's no one fucking there. Shut, shut up, Karen. Oh my god, yes, yes. Where's the ring? Fuck you, Karen! So, whose suggestion was it on the plane back from Australia that you had sex in the loo? Was that just an energy thing, or did you have a discussion about that? <laughs> that is a man that right before the cameras rolled, Willoughby was there going, reckon, you know, remain professional for him. Okay, you've got to. And he's like, I don't fucking want to. I've been speaking to this clown for years. Ah, fuck it. Nah, I don't care. No, Philip, please, you just remain professional. Okay, well, if I'm remaining professional, <laughs> this bitch getting sassed because I can't, Holly. <laughs> kind of, kind of an energy, I guess. Yeah. When I can't think of anything, I'm hitting you with the energy bullshit again, Philip. So keep them coming and I'll keep saying energies, mate. It's weird, I don't know where this is, what's happened to her, but she gave a shit before, do you know what I mean? Now she's just going, yeah, energies, mate, who gives a fuck, energies. So, I think maybe he fell in with a bad crowd when we were on holiday. <laughs> yeah, man, He kind of, he just started becoming really inconsiderate. He'd disappear for long periods of time. He'd, when he did come back, he'd bring other spirits back to the house and they'd just stay around for days. Chill out, love. We're having a fucking party. Have a talk on that and just fucking chill out. Oh, yeah, I'm bringing the spirits back. It's fucking spirit poker now, isn't it? Steve's got a terrible poker face, aren't you, Steve? See right through you, boy. Ah, no pun intended because you're a fucking ghost. <laughs> I'm, I am a funny bastard. You're right. I, I'm witty. Breakups are never easy. Uh, so um, so how did you how did you broach the subject with Ray that, um, that, that you had to end the relationship? Um... I tried to talk to him and I gave him one chance after another and he just didn't change. So eventually I ended up placing black tourmaline around the house, which keeps spirits away. I did a sage cleansing, incantations. I just had to get rid of him as you would any other spirit, really. Imagine talking to your friends with that, being like, oh, I'm just, I'm having a really tough time. And I just, I just don't think I can, I can be with them anymore. So you think you're going to break up with them? Yeah, I think I have to. I think I'm going to break up with them. Okay, well, um, have you thought about how you're going to do it? Are you going to, are you going to speak to him or? I can't speak to him. There's no reasoning with him. Um, I'm just going to have to buy a shit ton of black tourmaline and sage and just do some incandescent spells and stuff, I guess. Yeah, that's, that sounds like that'll work. Yeah, that's. The tourmaline will really fuck him up, I think. Yeah, good good for you. What are you going to do with his CDs? Because, you know, I could really... I haven't listened to that Killers album. I could... Yeah, yeah, I'll start the cleanse now. I'll, I'll have that. And do you miss him? I mean, he was part of your life and you were in love with him. Do you miss him? Of course, yeah. Not enough to not fucking put black tourmaline up over the fucking walls. You're not getting back in here, eh, you bastard? Black tourmaline. I don't know what black tourmaline is, by the way, FYI. But I imagine in my head I've went to some sort of paint that you would just fucking... I'm probably wrong. Definitely wrong. This is me chatting to Ryan. By the way, it was Halloween. We're about to see Philip Schofield speaking to Ray. That's what he said. We're, we're all about to see that now. Because he said it. And I believe Philip. So here we go. Philip Schofield talking to Ray. Well, Ray, it's a it's a pleasure to uh, pleasure to meet you, um, and um, obviously we couldn't do a research chat with Ray. I'm, I'm not not able to ask him any. How can I ask him a question? You can try, yeah. And uh, what what? <laughs> That's what I would say. My ghost best mate there, yeah? Steve. And someone went, "Can I speak to Steve?" You can fucking try, dickhead, if you want. I don't, <laughs> I don't think you're going to get much out of him, like Steve. You can't say that, mate. <laughs> Yes, he is. He is a bit of a bad racist, Steve. I probably should have said that before I brought him on. Sorry, Philip. Was it uh, about Amethyst that uh, that made you fall in love, Ray? What did he say? Well, um, he just said our connection. Like as soon as we met, we kind of just felt a connection there. Oh, that's fucking cringe. That. Oh, that's cringe. That. Oh. He didn't leave a long enough a pause for me there. What was it about Amethyst that? First to try to change. Well, go on then. What did he say then? Go on. Fill it in. Fill in the blanks, you mad old cow. 
You said another thing that fascinated me. Um, it's the fact that ghosts uh, during these COVID-19 times, ghosts have to socially distance too. Do they? Of course. It affects us all, Philip. They can pass it on. If I see a ghost on a bus without wearing a mask, I'm going to have to say something, Philip. I don't want to be in Tesco's shopping for my twiglet and I see a ghost walk by me, mask. I'll be hey, get your mask on, dickhead. There's a bloody pandemic out there. You can pass that on, boy. You've fallen in with a bad crowd and all. Get your bloody... Get a mask on, ghosty. Come on. So ghosts can get ill. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean... Why is that surprising you this far in, Philip? Her saying ghosts can get ill. If she's, she's fucked one, mate. She's shagged one. If that's not... if the, You're not blinking at that. Why is one of them going, <coughs> No, you can't cough. You're talking bitch, love. Ghosts coughing. You can shag them. You can marry them. You can shag them on a plane. But they can't fucking get ill. Love. They can't have a cough, man. You're talking shite now. You're talking shite now. Right, Jill, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as I said in the last video, I am currently on like a race to 100 subscribers. Uh, and in the last video, you've helped me out massively. I'm currently on 81, I think. So um, I, if you did have enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and subscribe and see if we can get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. I'm off to finger a ghost. <laughs> That's not a thing. Anyway, I should probably show off because I've been getting notched off by a ghost this whole time, so I should probably go clean up. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Me and my mate Steve really appreciate it. Don't we, Steve? <laughs> He's fucking mad racing. <laughs>